So today's hot topic is on God and science. This has been a hot topic for many years, as well as a heated debate amongst Christians and scientists. We live in a world today where science and faith seem to be at odds. Some would say that they don't belong together in the same conversation, and most certainly not in the public classrooms. Many teachers may say you have to check your faith at the door when you walk into a science lab. But is that how Christians should think? Is faith always blind? Is science always soulless? Does it have to be so black and white? Regardless, the Bible says we are to love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. In fact, the Bible also says that we are to test everything. That sounds like pretty good science to me. Do you know that Albert Einstein once said, I want to know God's thoughts. The rest is detail. He also said, I dance to the tune of an invisible piper. He stands behind the universe. He is God. Listen, Einstein knew the real deal, and he is one of our top scientists. The closer we get to understanding the fine-tuned nature of the physics of the universe and the intricacies and the complexities of even the simplest forms of life, the more we see elements of elegance, perfections, and some would say design in it all. To say that it's all random and here by chance is to ignore one ultimate reality. Chance is not a rational explanation for the origin of the universe. Before the Big Bang, chance had nothing to work upon. No matter, no energy, no time, no space. Therefore, there was no chance. There must have been something that stood above and beyond the laws of physics as we know them. Some first cause, something that broke or made all natural laws. Something that stood above nature a supernatural power. Christians believe that there was a first cause, and that first cause is God. The God who stands behind the universe is big enough to remain God, even through all of your searching. Although scientists are studying the finer details of God's creation and coming up with new discoveries all the time, the more we get to know how amazing our God truly is. The song you should have listened to earlier says, God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy. He is a God of wonders. We wonder how he created everything. We wonder how God took the time to create every minor detail of every creature and every being. We wonder how. And believe it or not, it is not for the human brain to comprehend. We can discover new facts and details but we can't fully compre comprehend the how. How does he do it all? There is one simple answer. He is God. He is the all-knowing, all-powerful, almighty God. He is so incredibly powerful that he sent his son to die on a cross to forgive our sins and promise us eternal life in heaven with him. He overcame death. What? He overcame death. During this Holy Week, may you focus on the details of Jesus Christ and the amazing things that happen to him as he defeats the devil on Easter Sunday. Our God is amazing. He truly is. And if you believe it with all of your heart, you will also believe that God will get us through this trying time. This time of unknown God sees the current state that we are in. In fact, he is more powerful than this stupid virus. Disease has come into the world because of sin, but soon this virus will be gone. And what I think is truly incredible is what is happening to God's creation in the midst of this tragedy. I read that over in Italy, dolphins and swans have returned to their waterways Rivers are clearing up. God's creation is being restored because we are using less factories, right? Less energy. And we're spending that much needed time with our family. It's almost like our world, right? Needed to take a deep breath and pause just for a couple weeks or even months. 
it needed to go back to its original state of creation. The state in which God created it first. Beautiful, natural, and with great wonder. So when you hear about God and science, know that they actually go hand in hand. And even though your public school science teacher can't say that, stick to your faith. Know in your heart, okay? Know that God is the creator of all, bigger than our universe, more powerful than we could ever comprehend.